Hello everyone. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. Ready, steady, listen to me. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favourite. Oh, his basket was empty, except for a note. Pete, please help find the eggs. Paint the eggs. Hide the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Wear these. Pete put on his bunny ears and thought, A cat with ears like a bunny. Now that's funny. Happy Easter chickens! Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I'm helping the Easter bunny. Sure, Pete. We have a lot of eggs, the chicken said. We're happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and a fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed up like a bunny. Now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colours would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop! Off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one colour. Some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colourful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them, that would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighbourhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in a flower pot. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter bunny arrived. Great job, Pete. You were a big help said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody! And that's the end of story time. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe today to Super Storytime 321. Goodbye.